Welcome to Brit Ridgeway's Learning for Life Claw Hammer Banjo Lessons. In this lesson, we're going to be doing the Intermediate Jam for Rosalind and the Bow. And we've just bumped it up a little bit from the previous speed. We're not going to have next week. We're going to be doing something different. We won't have this tune as far as learning. This will be it. And it'll be a three-part uh, lesson for Rosalind and the Bow. I just don't think it's it's really necessary to do the fourth part, so we'll do something else. Uh, before we start, I want to thank my patrons for making these lessons possible. You know, I used to charge for these lessons. It used to be a subscription program. Uh, it used to be where you had to pay for individual lessons or of that nature, and I've stopped doing that. Uh, all these lessons are completely 100% free to everybody, whether you're a patron or not. But it's because of the patrons that these lessons are free, that you can do this. If you're watching, you know, people always talk about free lessons. It's not always, nothing's ever free. Somebody pays for it. And uh, before the patrons, when we just started, I was paying for it. And as a full-time job, you can't pay for, you can't pay yourself when you're not making anything. So I started joining the Patreon program and they began to help. And I've still not made a penny doing this, but I can do it because of them, uh, because they are helping support what I'm doing. They're the ones who are uh, making this even happen. So when you're getting free lessons, it's because there are patrons who are giving to those lessons, who are supporting this program, who are literally paying these lessons so that everyone can have them. And it's just it's an investment into their own learning process. It's an investment into what I'm doing. And at the entry level of $5, which is really the foundational level, some do more for different things, uh, you get to see a, you get to participate in a live stream workshop every single month uh, where we get together, we meet each other, we see each other, and it's kind of a really neat little thing that we do. So uh, we offer those workshops each month. So something to consider. Uh, your help is definitely needed and appreciated. And I want to thank them first and foremost. Thank you, too, to those who are sharing, who are subscribing, who are commenting. We're growing every day. And that helps with YouTube search engines. That's where that all comes in. So I want to thank those of you who are helping that way. Also, it's a way that everybody can help. It's simply to reach down and like the lesson and comment on the lesson and I appreciate your help when you do that because that's helping keep this program going as well and in the YouTube search engines. So thank you so much. And we are going to get started on the intermediate jam for Rosin the Bow. Thank you so much. And here we go. So we are going to start the intermediate jam. I'll be playing the melody, then the backup, and then the melody again. You can reverse that and play backup, melody, backup. You can play all melody, all backup. You've got this track uh, endlessly that you can be moving uh, things on. We tend to practice things we're already comfortable with. And what you want to do is if you're struggling on the chords, then you want to really focus on the chords. If you're struggling on the melody, you want to focus on the melody. It's so easy just to play what we're very comfortable with. And you need to start practicing and playing what you're not comfortable with. So you are going to have uh, if you're coming in with the melody, you're going to come on the third beat. Uh, if you are coming in on the chord, you're going to hear the melody note and you'll come in on the next beat. So here we go. Ross and the bow, intermediate jam. Have fun with this.
how'd you do? Again, don't get frustrated if you don't have it yet. That's why you have this lesson to go over and over and over again. So you don't have to worry. It's Again, it's not a matter of, of uh, it's not a race. It's a journey. It's not a matter of trying to get the song down so quick. Take your time. Learn it slow. Learn it well. Get your chords down. Because these chords are going to be used in other tunes. And you should be able to take what you've learned from other tunes and put it towards this one. So don't don't panic. Don't be hard on yourself. And uh, what we're going to do is give you a practice track all your own that you can just do what you want with, uh, play it repeatedly again and again, and just work on getting this tuned out. Work on the tunes we've already taught and uh, go back over those on a regular basis. And uh, so have fun with this. And we will see you very, very soon for another lesson next week. So here we go.